What's going on, people? Get excited. This is going to be a good one. I'm J.J. Watt, defensive end of the Houston Texans. And I'm Brad Arnett. I've been on this guy's sidelines since he was in high school. I've also been a strength coach for lots of other college and pro-level athletes for the past 20 years. Today, we're going to be sharpening up your agility skills and getting our minds and bodies ready to act quickly, which we need them to. My man J.J. didn't become Defensive Player of the Year overnight. He did it by putting his time into his training. Agility is a really big piece of my routine. It's all about quick action and the ability to redirect force and power in a split second. It allows me to get around those big offensive linemen. This is just one piece of my training, but it's an important one for any position on the field. All right. You want to make sure you fuel your body with carbs in the hour before every workout. That way, you're primed and ready to get after it. Let's see what you got, JJ. Oh, don't worry about me. I got this on lock. First section we're gonna go into, we're gonna wake everything up. It's called prehab or activation. What we wanna do is wake up the nervous system before we start any workout. So we wanna get a little sweat going, get the core temperature up, and make sure that we're ready to go for the workout. So the first thing we're gonna start out with, we call bunny hops. Okay. We're gonna put our arms at 90, feet together. Just think in your mind you're gonna jump rope. All right. All right. Let's go, JJ. Spending minimal time on the ground here. Nice and easy, flipping the feet up. Spend minimal time. Nice work. Good. All right, we're gonna start facing feet together. Slight knee bend. We're gonna work our feet in and out. Ready? Let's go. Work them in and out. Nice job. Quick feet, always maintaining that knee bend, not going up and down. That's it, stay with it, Jay. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Good job. Nice. nice. All right, we're gonna go to what we call our pogo stick jump. All right. We're looking for height, okay? Perfect, sounds good. Here we go, Jay. Let her rip. Nice, good job. Think in your mind you're gonna jump through the roof. Get it up, jump it up, jump it up. That's it, Jay, good job. Jump that head as high as you can. Gather those arms. Good job, nice, good. Let's go down to all fours. Quadruped position. His knees are directly underneath his hips. He's gonna have a straight line from the top of his head to his bottom. Let's take that right arm and we're gonna reach straight down underneath as far as we can. Opposite arm can bend, pull back up and look at it at the top. Perfect. Hips stay square, getting good length under, good extension on the top. Good length under, good extension at the top. Our knees are slightly wider so our hips stay square and just reach. Jay, let's go to the other side big time. Same thing, reach straight through, let the opposite elbow bend as far as we can and get a good extension at the top. Where are you feeling this at, Jay? I can feel it all over, in the back of my shoulder. I can feel a little bit in my core. You guys at home should feel this across the middle of your back. Good job, Jay. All right, we're gonna stay right in the same position. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back down to our hands. We're gonna lift our feet up off the ground. Let's bring our knees in a little bit tighter. We're gonna roll those hips side to side. Good job. We wanna let those hips get closer and closer to the ground. Jay, you feeling that stretch feel down that. your low back and into the side of your hip? Yeah, that's a good one, Brad. Good job. We're trying to get things to lengthen and turn on. Nice job. Good. All right, from here, you're gonna lay flat on your belly, Jay. Keep those hands right underneath your shoulder. We don't have to bring your whole body up. We're just gonna bring half body. Keep your hips down, press up, and let it stretch. Good job. And work yourself back down out of it. Catch your breath. Press up, let that feel that low back stretch. You get up high enough, so you get a little bit in the abs too, yeah. huh? Yeah, I feel it. Good job. Over. Press up and hold. Good job. All right, Jay, stay right there. You're in perfect position to do our last one. All right. The inchworm. Perfect. Let's come up to a full push up. Good. Heads flat, let's walk it up and feel a stretch in those hamstrings. Good job. If you can't get your hands all the way up to the top, it's okay. Go as far as you can. The more you do it, eventually you're gonna be where Jay's at with your feet, hands together. Let's get one more, Jay. Let's take it out, walk it in, and we'll walk it back up. Walk in and hang. Check it all out, make sure you're dialed in. Good warm up? Yeah, great warm up. Good job. Excellent. All right. 
We're going to go right into agility. All right. Agility is a game of football. Got to change directions, decelerate, accelerate, run away from somebody, break down to tackle. It all goes hand in hand. We're going to work on some of those skills here today now on what makes you what you do today on the football field. Extremely important. It's one of uh, one of the biggest parts of my game, that's for sure. What's Speed, up? Speeds. We're going to work straight ahead speed. We're going right. to work side to side speed. What exercise you got? We're going to start out with our alternating A jump for height. Okay. So remember, opposite arm, opposite leg. Once our head position set, we're never going to change it. Arm's going to be at 90. His fingers are going to be open and relaxed. Arm's going to swing. He's going to drive that knee up for height. You ready, big time? Ready. Let's let her rip. Here we go. Nice job. Good, good carry up. That's it. Good. Head position's never moving. His arms are open and relaxed. He's letting himself carry. Hips are straight up and down. He's not bending at the waist. Don't punch yourself in the face, Jay. Be careful there. You're coming up with a lot of power. <laughs> I'm trying not to, Brad. I might catch you one time, though. Never. Good. Nice job. Catch your breath, Jay. How'd that feel? Good. 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 Let's take it to our A skip. All right. Head position stays the same. Fingers are open. 90. Now we're going to drive through the ground and get more contacts. Ready? All right, big time. Here we go. That's it. Good job. Driving the toe to the shin, lifting it straight up underneath. Arm action is good. Head's quiet. Nice job, Jay. Looking good. Good contact through the ground, punching through. This mimics our top end running mechanics. Heel recovery right underneath the hip. Arm action is through. Good job. Doing great. Nice. Good job. Now we're going to run in place. All right. Let's see how fast we can get going. Let's do it. All right, Jay, let's go. We're set. And let her rip. Good arm speed. Perfect. Nice, relaxed face. You can see that face jiggling around. Looks good, Jay. Thanks, Brad. I like it. Appreciate arm action. That. Let's pick up that arm speed. There you go. Let's keep that arm speed going. There you go. His legs are the engine. His arms are the pistons. Those pistons got to be moving to keep the engine going. You good? Nice job. Way to work. Starting from the top again, we're going to go our A jump a for a height. Right. Arm action. Good. Hands open. Head's quiet. He's getting good lift, letting his body extend. Getting good push off the ground. The more push you get off the ground, the more ground you're going to cover, especially with running away from somebody. Or in JJ's case, he's got to run him down. Get after him. Good job. Stay with it. That's it. Good job. Good. Good. And let's relax. Excellent. Nice. All right, let's repeat number two again. It was our skip. Hey, skips. Head action's the same. Hands are open. Same arm action. Quicker recovery to the ground. Here we go. Good. That's it. Same action as our jump for height, but now it's a little bit quicker. Letting those arms extend to the backside. You're looking good, Jay. Toe to the shin, punching through the ground. You're breathing heavy. I think we're getting a good workout here, Jay. Me. It's working. Stay with it. Stay with it. You're doing good. You're doing good. And relax. Nice. All right, last one we're going to do. High knee run. Oh, my favorite. Let's run him down and catch yeah, him. Let's run him down. You said? Always ready. Let's right. get her done. That's it. Good arm action. Good job. There you go. Good. You guys at home, make sure you got good arm action going here. Remember, it's your piston. Come on, Jay, give me some arm speed. Let's you go. You got the arm speed, big guy. You give me some arm speed. Me and them, we're giving you arm speed. Don't worry. Good job. Toes are coming up. He's getting good recovery pattern. He's doing great. Good job. And relax. Yeah, they feel that. We're going to continue on now with multi-directional. we got to learn how to punch off the ground, change direction. All right. Just like you coming off the line, change direction, run somebody down, avoid somebody to get a tackle. That's what we're going to work on right now. Perfect. First thing we're going to do, square hops. All right. So let's start to one side, Jay. Your feet are together. You guys at home are going to jump in a square. So once you think there's a square out in front of you, so we're going to start going clockwise. When I say switch, 
We're gonna go to counterclockwise. All right. Feet stay together, arms are at 90. We're set. Let's go, Jay. Feet are square, good job. Hitting the four corners of a square, doing great. Good job. Make sure we're staying up with Jay here now. Minimal time on the ground. Make sure we're moving around that square. And switch. Nice transition. That's it, Jay. Good job. Spending minimal time on the ground. Good body control. Always staying stacked over his feet. Doing great. Make sure we're staying up with Jay here now. Good job. Catch your breath. How's it going? I like that. All right, Jay, same concept, but now we're gonna have a line down the middle. Same thing, keeping our feet together tight, spend minimal time on the ground, and we wanna punch the ground back and forth. So All we right. wanna feel that reaction off the ground. Sounds good. All right, here we go, let's set our arms at 90, feet are in tight, we're set, and let's go. Nice job, there you go, good punch in the ground. Let's go now, make sure we're staying up with Jay here at home. Good feet. Let's make sure we're getting a good lift. We're not dragging our feet on the ground. We're getting some vertical lift here. Good job. Stay with it, Jay. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. That's it. Stay with it. You're doing great. Get his head's quiet. Body control in and out. And catch your breath. Nice job, Jay. Thanks, Brad. All right, last one we're going to do. We're going off of two feet. Now we're going to go to one foot. This is not only gonna be change of direction, but we're gonna incorporate some stability in here. Okay. Foot stability, knee stability, hip stability. It's even more important on this one to make sure we stay stacked on your hips. Got it. Let's start with our right foot first. We're set and go. That's it, Jay. Great. Good job. Feel that in the hip? Yeah. How about the knee and ankle? I feel it everywhere, big breath. Good job. Good, let's switch to the other side, Jay. Nice job. Good transition. Minimal time on the ground. Let's make sure we got our eyes up. We don't have to stare at the ground. Just feel it and get off. Good job. And relax. Nice job, big dog. That's good. We're gonna catch our breath for a second. We're back to two feet again. We're back on our square. So we're gonna start out with clockwise jumps. On switch, we're gonna go to counterclockwise. Got it. You ready? We're always ready. Let's go, Jay. Let's start with our feet together. All right, here we go. Hit those four corners. Nice job. Minimal time on the ground. He's getting good lift. Always staying stacked over his feet. His shoulders aren't all over the place. Your face is bouncing really nice. Hey, you You're got it, big good. Thanks, buddy. Let's switch. Good job. Doing great. Stay with it. Stay with it. Keep working hard. Keep working hard. Good job. Nice job. We're staying on two feet, Jay. Our line's down the middle. We're going to go back to our side-to-side -side hops. Here we Imaginary go. line down the middle. Here we go. Side to side hop. Arms at 90. Let's go, Jay. Nice I'm job. Going, Staying stacked over his hips. He's doing great. Spending minimal time on the ground, keeping that body upright. Transitioning back and forth across that line. So, Jay, we're almost there. Come on, big time. Come on, keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're doing great. You're doing great. And relax. All right, Jay, let's finish this off. We're on single leg now. Line up, side to side. Here we go. That's it. Stay up with JJ at home now. Here we go. Stay tacked. Quick, minimal time on the ground. Balls of your feet. You're doing great, Jay. All right, let's switch up our feet. There you go. Good job. Nice body control. You're doing great, Jay. You're doing great. Keep working hard. Nice job. That was good work. All right. Hold on for a sec here. Let's take a break here and rehydrate. JJ, you're moving quick, buddy. Always got to push ourselves, big man. That's exactly right. But always remember, when you're training this hard, it's important to take breaks and fuel up so you can keep at it. When you're working out or on the field, it's so crucial for you to replace what you sweat out. 
Gatorade's got electrolytes lost in sweat to help you rehydrate and carbs to help you refuel. That's why I always tell my athletes to keep a bottle on hand. That's right. And Houston's hot. When I'm under that sun during practice or a game, the heat can really take it out of you. That's why it's so important in my game that I stay hydrated. So let's fuel up and get back at it. We're going to work on multi-directional. We're going to work on some deceleration now. All right. So once we change directions or get going fast, how do we come to a stop and control our body? Very important and very often overlooked. It is way overlooked. If you can't control your body stopping, there's no sense trying to transition. Let's do it. All right, Jay, here we go. We're going to start out with our multi-step stick and hold. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out on one side of the body. We're going to step forward, stick and hold, and always recover back to the foot we push off with. Okay. So we're going to go to the front, we're going to go sideways, and we're going to go backwards. Okay. Always go to control forward and come back to that opposite foot under control. Okay. You ready, big time? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's start out going forward, go forward. stick and hold, and push yourself back. Now we're going to go to the side. Good job. Stick and hold and straight back. Good shin angle, showing knee bend. Jay, when you finish backwards and you come back up, let's go to the other side now. All right. Let's keep it same going. There you go. Open up and stick. Pushing straight back and hold. Ooh. Nice job. Flat foot, good knee bend. That's it, open that hip, stick and hold. Push back and hold. Good job, excellent. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna move lateral. Okay. So we're gonna always push from that outside hip. So we're gonna push, recover, push, recover, stick and hold. So we're gonna repeat what we did to the side, but we're gonna take, we're gonna stay square. Okay. So always push you off the ground. We're gonna get two steps coming across, stick and hold. That's it. Good job. Good control. That's it, Jay. Good. Quick feet in the middle, stick and hold. Good body control, absorb that force. That's it, Jay, good job. Doing great, stay with it at home. Stay with Jay, he's doing a great job. Show me good body control, quick feet in between. And relax. How'd that feel? That's good. All right. Side to side shuffle, quick feet in the middle, punch through the ground and let's get out hard. Jay, whenever you're ready, let's get after it. That's it. There you go. There you go. Punch the ground and get out. Punch the ground and get out. Always maintaining that same knee bend. He's not up and down. He's staying at the same knee bend. He's always got a spring to absorb. That's it, Jay. You're doing good. Good job. Good knee bend. Good knee bend, Jay. That's it. Stay with Jay. Good job. Good job on that first set, Jay. Good round. Good you round. guys ready to go at home? Jay, Let's you ready it. for round two? I'm ready. We're ready. What do we got? Same thing over again? Same thing all, all right. over again. Let's start with our multi-step stick and hold. We're starting with our right side first. All right, big time. Here we go. Always control back. Open up that hip and come back. Nice and controlled. Doesn't have to be super fast. It's all about control here. Good. All right, big time. Let's switch to the other leg. Other side? Other side. Same concept. Show me good body control. Excellent. He's keeping his chest tall. He's not bending real big at the waist. He's staying nice and tall and controlled. Good job, Jay. Nice That's job. I like that. Let's go to our lateral movement. All right. Let's do our quick feet inside, and we'll stick and hold on our outside leg. Got it. Good knee bend to start. Nice job. Nice and controlled in the hold. There you go. Notice he's swinging his arms just like he's running. Come into that hold. Whichever leg you're stopping on, that arm swings behind. Good job, Jay. Nice and controlled. Good tempo here. We're not looking for a ton of reps. It's all about body control. Nice job, Jay. Nice job. Nice. All right, we ready for our last one here? Yeah. Taking what we just did, now we're gonna make it continuous. We're set, good knee bend. All right, Jay, let's get her done. Good. This is great for you coming off the line, moving down, blocking in different guys, moving yourself laterally, staying square to the line of scrimmage. 
Good job, Jay. Make sure we're staying up with Jay at home. Quick feed, he's got a good knee bend. He's not standing tall. Good job. How's it going? That was a good workout, Jay. That was a good one. What do you think, JJ? Yeah, I think we can all agree that one was a little rough. Make this part of your regular routine to stay quick and agile. This is kind of JJ's thing. Yeah, all this is my thing, Brad. This type of training is so crucial to keep you quick. So stay focused and consistent with this type of training because your competition is always out there trying to get better. So you better be improving too. If you've had enough, make sure to check out the recover session and end on a strong note to get your body ready for tomorrow. If you're ready for more, like me and Brad here, be sure to check out the strength and stamina workout. See you there. Keep up the good work. We'll catch you on the next one.